Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel. And today I have the June Journal Junk box and sack that have both been sent to me for review. So essentially the bundle. I didn't get the kids creative journaling box this time around, but I was so impressed that the one that she sent me for May, I took some photos and I posted them over on my Instagram. By the way, if you're not following me over on Instagram, I would love to see you over there as well. It's at Maui underscore Noelle. I'll leave a link for you in the description box below so instead of hi Noel which refers to Hawaii it's Maui Noel so a little bit harder to find but uh, it is still me and I like to post a lot of product photos of some of the boxes that I open here on the channel and sometimes I post some fun stuff in my stories as well so like I said if you're not there yet I would love to see you there as well but let's talk about the two boxes that I got to share with you today well one is technically a sack it's basically the mailer it's always in the same theme as the box but it's at a little bit more of an affordable price point obviously you get fewer items but I always think it's a really nice stationary treat that might be perfect for a lot of you who don't necessarily need a ton of stationary all the time but you love stationary that's kind of the category that I fit in so the journal junk sack which comes like I said in a mailer is $27.99 per month and then the journal junk box that is just full of all kinds of goodies as well as journal prompts and sometimes some more lifestyle items like I know we've gotten like tumblers before we've got and dish towels before um, that's $52.99 per month and then you can get the bundle which is essentially what I'm sharing with you today because again it is the same theme in both subscriptions but complementary products you're not gonna get any repeats it's gonna be $71.95 for the bundle so you're gonna get everything and I do think that's a really fun thing especially like with last month's theme where there were cats and dogs so depending on whether you're a cat person or a dog person or if you just love both that was a really good month to get both the box and the sack for. Now I do have an affiliate link for you as well as a referral code. The referral code is just hi Noel and that'll save you 15%. And if you're not familiar with affiliate links, all that means is that it's a way for the boxes and myself to track where their sales come from. So I might receive a small commission. It kind of depends on how many times you've been to the site and through what different links, but I may receive a small commission, but it is at no additional cost to you. Again, it's just so that we can kind of see what's going on on the back end. So let's start with our sack, which did include kind of a fun lifestyle -y item this time around inside of the mailer. And I'm always uh, ex excited to go through the sack first because it gives me like a sneak peek of what the box theme is going to be. And Dallas does such a great job with these boxes. They are so much fun. They're really, really delightful. Sometimes they're a little girly for me. Like you can kind of tell from like the design of the box. There's a lot of pink and bows and stuff, but sometimes I can get kind of get down with that as well. So this is totally my aesthetic it's from santa barbara design studio and it just says beach babe and it's just in like a nice canvas with a faux uh black uh leather zip top which has this nice little tie here or this little tassel here so that you can open it up so pretty simple on the inside it's just kind of almost like a waxed canvas it's pretty stiff so it's got some nice um stability to it I guess so that's kind of cool this is great for when you are going to the beach and uh, you have your like littler things like maybe your earbuds maybe your phone maybe your camera and it's going in that big beach bag that's also going to have you know a sandy towel and water bottle at the end of the day so you want to protect those smaller things and make them really easy to access as well so this is kind of cute and it can double as a quick little clutch if you're like hopping into a little um restaurant that happens to be on the beach boardwalk what have you so i think this is cool i love it because it just says beach bay but it's also very like simple so very chic i think that's awesome now the rest of it all came in this uh, little bubble envelope so let me go ahead and get into it so yes, I think for me, if I was subscribing just because I have limited space in my office and I don't use a ton of paper goods, again, love them, but have a lot of them, the sack would be probably perfect for me. It does always have an inspirational quote card, which is kind of cool. It says, even when I may not feel it, I am seen known and loved for exactly who I am. And I love to just put these up on my desk. So I'll put them up on my desk for the month and it gives me a little bit of inspiration and I think it's kind of a cool feature in the journal junk sack. So that's what, again, we're talking about, the journal junk sack. There's no product list with this one, which I don't mind. Um, it's probably makes sense in terms of 
keeping the cost down. She does include a little journal prompt for growth bookmark inside. We also this time around got waterproof ink comfort grip fine gel pens. Ooh, in eight assorted colors. You guys, I love me some gel pens. It's in the ocean theme, so that's why it goes with this particular theme because I'm starting to get a grasp on it. Beach Babe, ocean pens. I'm loving a beach theme. Definitely summer vibes going on. So I love this. It's a 0.55 fine gel pen and I love gel pens. Just the way they write is really great. And those are some really, really pretty colors. Look at those like pearly colors up there. So perfect. That I'll probably hold on to. Yes, we got some beachy stickers. This is from Paper House. It's their tropical June kit. Let me go ahead and open these up. So you guys know I've started using my stickers. I used to be like a sticker hoarder. I used to always like to save them and then not know why I never use them and why my stack was getting so much. But now I've started actually decorating my planner a little bit more. I use my day planner. I use a paper day planner as well as a digital one. This is great though because look it's got like spaces where you can you know check boxes off for like accomplishing tasks. You can actually make these like little gift labels if you wanted to for those. Um, we have things that are like reminders important and celebrate so there's a little pocket in the back of the day planner that I'm using this year so I usually just stick these sticker sheets that I think that I'll use in the back of that and then if I make a mistake or plans change I just slap a sticker on top of those mistakes or changes this one's really cute it's got a gold pineapple which I'm excited about it's got one that says uh, sun's out fun's out down there in the bottom in some gold so this is pretty cool I like this and these ones kind of have like a clear background almost there's that gold pineapple I would like a whole sheet of the like gold outline uh, beachy themes that would be fun remember flash tats that's what I'd be. I'd like a sticker sheet of flash tats. It would be really fun. And then our notebook, we pretty much always get a notebook in the journal junk sack as well as one in the journal junk box. So if you get the bundle, you usually wind up with two. Sometimes they're from the same line. Sometimes they're just complementary in different ways. This is really pretty. So look at this. This is our nice beachy, literally beachy notebook. It says Serenity down here. It'd be fun if your name was Serenity. It's by Great Works on the back. Let's see what it looks like on the interior. So nice teal uh, lining. And then it just has some teal lines as well. It does say Serenity down here in the corner. So this does seem like it would be a good journal. Uh, it's nice because it is lined. It's pretty big. It does have a ribbon bookmark. Let me see. I found it somewhere. I saw it for a second for half a second. <laughs> there we go. So it's kind of a sandy color, like a champagne color. So that is lovely. You guys know I usually like spiral bound, but this is really pretty and would look gorgeous on your shelf, right? Or maybe you're going away for the summer and you're going to write all of your beachy daydreams in there. I don't know, but it is really, really pretty, especially for those of you who love the ocean and love any beach theme, which I am definitely one of those people. Let's move on to the journal junk box, you guys. I'm excited to get into it and see what our official theme is. So the June theme is officially seize the day, which is always a cute, cute pun. And then on the back, she does include all of the items as well as the retail values and four journal prompts. So one for each week, which I think is really, really cool. And they usually kind of go along with the theme. For example, week two, write about your perfect beach day. So I'm going to prop this up in front of me as we go through and we will chat about what we got in this one. So, hey journal babe is what it always says on the tissue paper with the sticker. Just didn't want you guys to miss that, but most of you are pretty familiar with this box. I know that this box does get opened on a few other channels. They often get to it before me, so if you are watching it here on my channel and you've already seen it on another channel, thank you so much. I do really appreciate that support. Let's uh, see if we can put a secret password in this video, and I'll tell you more about that when we get to it. This is pretty cute though. I'm just kind of pulling everything out from the styrofoam the packing styrofoam so I know that I've got everything on hand so I can maybe open things in order for you sometimes that's a little bit easier to do all right so this is the journal I love this kind of binding it is not a spiral bound but it is Coptic binding which is where it's kind of an open binding which I think is so so cool so there's some variation on this item it's from heartfelt again um, so this is a value of 1650 and it just says seize the day 
there was also a take time one but look how pretty that is so that kind of like marbly almost looks like the ocean but the great thing about Coptic binding you guys is because it really does lay flat this one says it's written in the stars along the bottom on some nice cream paper lined paper but I do really love the way these open up and lay flat so for me this is the winner in the journal contest between the sack and the box this month but that is lovely you guys know I'm an ocean girl I'm a captain's daughter so I'm all about this particular journal I think that's awesome and I I like the seize the day versus the serenity if I had to choose although both are great options all right we also got an artsy animal travel journal because a lot of us have travel on the brain so this one's pretty cute I think this is what they're talking about mine is a glittery flamingo um, so we don't have flamingos in Hawaii but they do have a tropical vibe it's very pretty and colorful this has a value of $6.99 that seems fair and ooh, look at that inside you guys we've got a big old flamingo here we've got a little flamingo down there in the corner on line pages always great to have these kinds of notebooks got a little corner flamingos to keep you company that's really cute and yes there is some glitter there on the front on the flamingo flamingos are so fun to watch a whole flamboyant of flamingos they get really loud i love watching the flamingos because they are one of the first things well they're one of the first things that you see at the san diego zoo which i grew up with the san diego zoo and i absolutely love it so that always makes me think of the zoo all right we also got a sun drenched sticker pack so another sticker pack Ooh, this is from this is from paper house it has a value of 4.99 and look how many stickers there are you guys this is kind of fun because these ones they actually have you can see there's different like length sheets so you can see all of the different ones so we have the life's a beach sun sand and sea we've got a surfboard there this one has some flip-flops a seahorse uh, that's really cool I like that uh, unwind making waves this one the sea calls to me some seashells let's have seashell be our secret password for today since that kind of goes with our beachy theme splish splash that's fun so when you come across a secret password in one of my videos you want to enter it along with your contact information in the Google form that is going to be in the description box below you have to be 18 years or older you have to be subscribed to my channel doesn't have to be publicly I can confirm with you via email it is only for those of you who have US or Canadian mailing addresses Canadians you do have to help me a little bit with the shipping because it is it is a lot but I do want to have you be involved as well it is in no way affiliated with YouTube or any of the boxes that I open here on the channel It is just my way of thanking you all so much for joining me some of you join me here every single day when I post videos and uh, that way it maybe encourages you to watch the videos in their entirety to keep those ears open at the end of the month actually about five days into the following month I use a random number picker to select a few winners to receive mystery boxes so for each secret password you get an entry right but it always depends sometimes I send out two boxes sometimes I send out 15 boxes you just never know so uh, the secret password for today though was seashell so that was a really cute sticker pack then we also have it says we have a ballpoint pen Ooh, this one's pretty in a nice peachy color what does this one say dream believe achieve so not necessarily our uh, beach theme there but this has a value of seven dollars so we looks like we have a few more dream believe things so let's see it says there is a binder clip set of 12 binder clip set i don't see a binder clip set but I'm seeing something else. So let's see what this is. Hmm, I see this looks like some memory files. Oh, this must be the surprise item. So hold on, we'll, we'll talk about that in a second. So we do have a tumbler. Oh, maybe this is my binder clip set. So this is from Heartfelt as well, it is. It came in a box, but like in my brain, I'm like, that looks like a candle. <laughs> which it could be, but we actually got it in a cute little jar. So here is our Dream Believe binder clip set that goes along with that pen. That's cute. Of course, it's like it's like a message in a bottle, right? So it's got the little cork top. So nice and reusable. And it does go along with the pen because we have Achieve on the kind of coral colors. 
we have, let's see, we got three different colors. They're all like kind of layered, just like sand art. So I have to pull them all out. So it looks like we have three different ones with four of each. We've got a Believe on the sort of lavender kind of periwinkle. And then we have a speckled one here at the bottom. It's like trying to get to your favorite candy at the bottom of a jar, but it is a really cute way to have these displayed on your desk or in your office. And then we have Dream, which is kind of speckled. So Dream, Believe, and achieve i put them in the wrong order but they do definitely go along with the pretty pen those are really pretty colors i love binder clips i use them all the time i use them way more than paper clips so sometimes you have to be careful what you're binder clipping though just to make sure it doesn't put dents especially if it's like a photograph or something that has a really shiny surface but i love binder clips because they're really great for actually bigger stacks of paper they work better in my opinion than necessarily paper clips all right so that was our binder clip set value of 14 dollars, and there are 12 of them in there and three different sayings i guess or words then we have a life is better at the beach pocket notepad that's what this is that is adorable with the gold foil and we've got some secret passwords all over it. This has a little uh, magnetic closure. Ooh, I like that. Sometimes the Velcro closures don't work as well. So nice magnetic closure. And then inside, oh, it's got like a little sand dollar there in the corner. I love sand dollars. They're very hard to not want to collect, but you need to leave them where they where they are. Unless they're really white, then you know that they're they are already ready for the shelf for the bowl that you keep everything in but that's actually a great little notepad to have in your purse i do actually have one of these this is one of those things where i put my money where my mouth is and i actually you know have these i always like suggest ways to use things in boxes and sometimes i don't actually do it notepads in purses is something i do uh with pens Ooh, this actually goes really well together this is sort of corally beachy vibes i always think like blues with beach stuff but also coral like I feel like coral is a good summer beach vacation nail color too all right then we have the just chill stainless steel tumbler like I said you guys we do sometimes get some more lifestyle items in here which is what it is and it just says uh, just chill so it looks like it's one of those nice double walled stainless steel tumblers that keeps things nice and cold it does have a good top on it it's got the little slide lid to open so you could have your coffee in there it's going to keep it nice and warm and uh sealed for when you are on the go probably a little bit big to put in a cup holder in your car but that's okay it is 25 dollars in value i like how simple it is i'm not usually one that likes a lot of script and text on my stuff but if it's simple and it's subtle i'm okay with it so we've been getting a lot of beachy drinkware in boxes this month and i'm i'm okay with that i'm here for it so pretty cute and then it looks like we also got a surprise item so there's probably going to be some variation so you guys will have to let me know if you've been watching the other unboxings of this i know i have so the surprise item this time around is from heidi swap it's some memory files so it looks like little file folders but i'm guessing you maybe use them for like scrapbooking oh it actually shows you what the six designs are but let me go ahead and pull them out so it would be great for i guess photographs right or maybe even just organizing your scrapbooking materials so let's see so this one's kind of pretty right and it's got you oh you can write the what the contents are right there and then it just works like a regular old file folder it's also just like kind of nice cardstock i mean if you want it to be cute you could totally turn this into like a greeting card by adding some stickers and some other cutouts especially for like a office worker i think that would be like a really cute um greeting card or postcard or um birthday card excuse me this one's really cute for travel look we've got the uh nice almost grids on the interior and they do actually work where if you could put them together like there's three tabs in a row let's see we also got this pink one pink with some zigzags on the interior and then we have a nice simple lined one with some like newsprint on the inside I love that they're double-sided in terms of having an actual design on the interior this one just looks like an old ledger with a green interior with some like markings on the side old school ledger this one has polka dots a little bit of faint newsprint kind of shining through it and then on the inside it looks like an old log book like a ship's manifest or something so those are all kind of fun kind of like vintage vibes with those but 
definitely good for organizing. I actually use full size file folders to uh, organize all of the product cards that I get in so many different subscription boxes because I do like to hold on to them for the year just to reference. Sometimes I need to know what we got and when we got it, but like I said, this could be good for smaller items um, like photographs, like ticket stubs, like anything else that you are going to organize eventually. Receipts, coupons, gift cards. I like the smaller size. That's kind of a cool surprise item. So again, we got our Seize the Day Coptic Bound Journal, which I love that kind of binding and I think it's really pretty in the blue swirlies. We got our Artsy Animal Travel Journal. I got a flamingo. Let me know what you got in the comments below. We got our sun-drenched sticker pack really fun for upcoming summer plans we got our dream believe uh, ballpoint pen as well as the matching binder clip set in a nice little reusable jar we got our life's better at the beach this is probably my favorite item I just think it's a really cute design pocket notepad our just chill stainless steel tumbler um, which is going to be great for just chilling by the pool and finally our surprise item for my box was these fun little mini file folders so you guys let me know in the comments below do you have some travel plans which of these items in the box or the sack would you find the most exciting or the most useful in your life, in your plans? And uh, if you have a second, please do give this video a thumbs up. If you got to this point and you missed it, go back. There was a secret password that you want to enter in the secret password mystery box giveaway. And I will see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.